Welcome to the Heidi Thorne Show. I'm your host, Heidi Thorne, and in this podcast, I share my real-world self-publishing and small business experience with you. So let's get started with today's show. Now, today we're going to talk about some recent research on reading habits of people and how that is going to affect you in the future and publishing in general. Uh, One of the biggest findings from the report was almost double the consumption of audiobooks since 2011. So you know I've talked a lot about audiobooks and I, I've done a lot of audiobooks. I have eight of them done. And I would strongly encourage you, like when you write a book, to also consider the audio edition. And of course, I have a course on how to do that, which I'll share a link with a discount for you um, in the show description. So do check that out. It is evidence that you know, audiobooks are here to stay. Now, some of the other things that they found with the audiobook um, findings uh, was that uh, those with higher incomes and college students were big consumers of audiobooks. It kind of makes sense in a lot of ways. Uh, So if those are uh, big markets for you, definitely you want to be considering audiobooks. Now, uh, the other thing that they found is that eBooks, like Kindle eBooks, are declining. Now, they're not going to go away, but their edge over audiobooks is decreasing. So uh, back when they did a, another survey, I guess in 2016, um, ebooks had double the amount of consumption that audiobooks did, and now it's down to just 5% over audiobooks. So audiobooks are just running away with uh, growth these days, and so I strongly consider should. So I strongly urge you to consider doing an audio edition of your books. Um, and here's another thing about print. Um, it's always been strong, and it continues to remain strong. However, that has fallen somewhat too. So I think the survey was about 65% of adults had read an actual print book in the past year. Uh, But then uh, that was down from uh, earlier years by some percentage points. So print is still strong. And I would encourage you to do that too. And of course, I've always talked about doing multi-format Uh, for your books, uh, because you never know what people are going to, or how they're going to want to consume your content. And here's one of the most disturbing findings from the report, was that the percentage of adults who read any book in any format has fallen from 2011. It went from like 79% in 2011 down to 72% in 2019. That is a troubling statistic because if it continues to fall, uh, we're going to have some troubles in the future. (laughs) And I think part of that is that we have to start thinking as authors not only multi-format, whether it's audiobook or ebook or print book, um, we have to think of our books as content. And so it may not always be a book. I have some author friends, or what I would consider authors, uh, they just do video of their content. Do I consider them an author or content creator? Absolutely. And I think we also have to understand that some of these other multimedia uh, formats are going to take away from books. And so I think this really, really makes it imperative for us to think in larger terms with our writing. 
It may be, we may still be doing blogs. It may be eBooks, it may be audio books, it may be print books, it might be all of the above. It might be videos. <laughs> it might be a podcast like this. Um, it might be social media. It might be things you do on live streaming. Uh, that is growing. And, and so I, I think we have to get out of that uh, book box, what I would call, where we're stuck thinking about us as authors of books. We are content creators and we are providing uh, entertainment, education, enlightenment. Um, I think those are the things we have to think about. And it is irrespective of what format it gets translated into, whether that's electronic or print or something else. So um, I encourage you to think more expansively about your self-publishing efforts. So I hope you found this helpful as you start planning for your future publishing uh, efforts. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you would go over to Apple Podcasts and give The Heidi Thorne Show a nice rating and review. And don't forget to subscribe to The Heidi Thorne Show on Apple Podcasts, on Stitcher, Podbean, and of course now on Spotify. If you would like to uh, check out my books, um, they are available in multi-formats. Uh, they are on Amazon. You can get print book, ebook, and audiobook all on Amazon. And if you just like the audio editions, those are available on Audible and Apple Books. I would appreciate it if we would share any of my content with your friends on social media. And if you'd like to connect with me, my website is very simply HeidiThorne.com. Thank you so much for listening and for your support. I'll look forward to talking with you again in the next episode. And in the meantime, have a great day.